So right now I'm waiting for my cousins to all arrive so we can go to the beach. I'm trying to take them to the beach and they are taking their time. We were supposed to leave two hours ago and now we only have about two hours to spend at the beach. Ibn Amrel. Ibn Amrel. Ibn Amrel. Right, I'm going. I'm, I'm leaving now. I'm going to call you on them. She. Is um, a lookout place. This is my little sister. There's a lookout place that we can stand and take photos and videos. It just has almost the entire nice to behind. Um, every time I come home, I try to make sure that. Oh, and there's a wedding. <laughs> every time I come home, I try to make sure that I take all the girls in my family to the beach just to have a good time, and then um, and then we go back home. It's just something that is inexpensive and that we can all do as a family, well mostly the girls in my family. So as I was walking down to the beach, there was um, a couple that asked me where am I from and I was like I'm from here and they were like oh oh there's a, there's a group of people here with a camera and it looks like they're shooting a video. And I was like, well, I'm not, I'm not part of them. It's because I'm carrying a camera as well. I was like, I'm not part of them. And now I'm at the beach and I can actually see that there is a group of people shooting a music video. Uh, they are right over there. It looks like a gospel group of some sort. Shooting a video, it looks cool. Bye bye. Hello, from Cup. So I'm now taking a walk um, down the coastline. I've got my top off because I got a six pack, but I'm not gonna show anyone my six pack. The time is now 4 o'clock in the afternoon and it's 29 degrees. South Africa is amazing so I encourage anyone who wants to travel, travel to South Africa, get in touch with me. I can make you like a, an uh, itinerary depending on how much time you have and how much money you have. Uh, I'll put together a two week itinerary, two weeks minimum, you know, because I would encourage anyone to do the garden route and I would encourage anyone to do a little bit of Cape Town and definitely do the Kruger. So two weeks. Um, it will be enough to do all of those things. So there's a, a lady across the road from my house who is selling chicken feet. Yes, chicken feet. So I'm about to go there right now with Sisipo and we are going to buy some chicken feet. I am legit 
Ed and Jam fit right now. You would think there's no meat and chicken fit, but there actually is. And it tastes really good. So. Chicken feet on the grill, one rand, less than 10p in fact, there's no currency for one rand in pounds, so, wait a Hey, good afternoon. So today it's Sisipo's birthday, who's my cousin. We are going to Put on up. Anyway, it's her birthday, so I'm taking her out for dinner and we are going to support a local chef called Melvin. Chadaro! Hi. Chadaro! Happy birthday! <laughs> yes, girl! <laughs> Business Usacho, Chisang Yam and Catering. For today, special is gonna be pork and chips. And yeah, of course, I would like to prepare some meal for you guys because uh, as you ordered, so yeah, I'm ready now. <clears throat> start to prepare some pork. I put a bit of spice and chips. And yeah, I'm starting my machine on now. Just to make a crispy, crispy chips. And uh, I've got already cheese to lunch already. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are gonna sit down and uh, relax and enjoy your meal. So not only do you get incredible food, but you also get an amazing view. And there's no one here at the moment. It's just me and my skomama. Skomami. Ha 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 ha. 